In this video, dual axis and multiple measures rendering, we're going to talk about how to do some advanced concepts of Tableau in charts where not just one measure but multiple measures would be rendered. So same here, we're going to use the connection from the video number one and then I'm going to rename it as DIY with 13. So go to Tableau and open here new sheet. I'm going to add it as DIY with 13 and I'm going to save it. Drag and drop the sale date and set the detail to the month level. sale date and we'll change the detail type to month so in the shelf area select this month next drag and drop the sales amount to the row shelf so sales amount to the row shelf From the show menu, set the chart type to line chart. So we can change it if the line chart is not available, but it is line chart. We don't have to change anything. Next, drag and drop the sales cost measure to the rows shelf. So let's do that. Sales cost again to the rows shelf. And now you can see two charts. This is a divider line. On the top you have sales amount and at the bottom you have sales cost and this is month on the x-axis now click the sales cost let me yeah the sales click the sales cost on the row shelf and select dual axis so here the sales cost I go here and select dual axis you can see this option you can see that both the axes are merged and the blue color is the sales amount and the orange is the sales cost so you can see that both the measures are displayed as a part of one single chart all right so let's move on to some advanced concepts right click on the sheet name at the bottom and select duplicate sheet so basically we have to duplicate the sheet so right click say duplicate sheet and you can see a new sheet available next rename the new sheet as DIY with 13 B so this new sheet I'm going to rename as 13 B please rem remember that just a duplicate as what we have done in 13 is just a duplicate now remove the sales cost measure so let's remove it in order to remove I can click on here and go at the very bottom select remove you, you just have sales amount now then click on sales amount and add table calculation then calculate the moving average of sales amount across the table smooth with three months before and after the date also including the current value so let's see how you can do it <coughs> sorry so you would go to sales amount go here and say add table calculation then click on this and say running moving calculation and then click on average in this value and moving along 
you can say sales date or table across previous values you would select three next values you would select three and you are going to select include the current value so this is going to be doing a calculation a moving calculation for the previous three months for the next three months and including the current value there you go that's how a moving calculation would look like a moving average would look like let me add sales amount to give you a good perspective there you go so this is and I can do a dual axis on this too and I'm going to color it on the sales amount and I'm also gonna color it there you go so these this particular line is for the moving average and this is the sales amount so even though the sales amount are dipped it averages out over a period of time this is how you would do the moving calculations on the shelf okay guys so let's do the following hands-on exercises hands-on 22 drag and drop the department and item category dimensions to the column shelf area then use sales cost and profit loss measures for dual axis very simple as we have done already and the next is channel type employee country as dimensions and then do a moving average of sales cost with smooth with one month before and after also including the current value should be pretty simple happy learning